Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bipolar Entertainment. This is Dramaside. A lot of the videos that I'll be reacting to on this channel, a lot of the music that I'll be playing, um, breaking down or reviewing, whatever you want to call it, is not only things that I would be doing for reaction. It's not only things that I would be doing for um, requests, but it's the music that inspired me and what's the word that I'm looking for that influenced me as far as an artist. So yeah, I think that it would be the music that would be mostly, I would say, influenced me. And you guys are going to be surprised by the music that influenced uh, my music career, uh, as well as the things that I'm just reacting to as far as requests. So uh, without further ado, people talk about Freddie Mercury, and I do too. Uh, perhaps one of the greatest vocalists ever. Uh, in my top five is also Steve Perry from Journey. Uh, I'm not really following uh, the later Journey with the other singer. I don't even know what his name is. I, I didn't follow him. But when it came to Steve Perry, his version of Journey, to me, it was nothing like that. Uh, never seen this live shot of Journey doing Lights, which happens to be one of my favorite Journey songs. Uh, let's go. Bipolar Entertainment. We wrote a song about our hometown, San Francisco. It's called Lights.
Journey gave us so many hit records that when Steve Perry uh, couldn't or wouldn't uh, travel, uh, I mean, I've seen the behind the music stuff where he said that it was his hip. And then I've heard other things that he was just burned out and he didn't want to tour anymore. Um, whichever the case may be, only those guys know for sure why the original lineup wasn't together. By the way, let me, before I go any further, Neil kill that damn guitar solo did he not did neil not kill that damn okay uh in the 80s they were the kings of what they called the arena rock and it was journey that made me say oh my goodness like i want to play arenas you know um you know it, it, as an artist you know um we don't know I, I wish it was predetermined. I wish that we knew who to trust and who not to trust when it came to our careers. You know, as much as people want to be stars, there's always somebody around the corner lying to, him, to them, deceiving them, taking them for everything that they got. I've signed record deals before, um, and basically there were nothing happening record deals. I was promised the world uh, by promoters and things like that. And it just never panned out like that. It was when I decided to start my own company, which is Bipolar Entertainment, that um, I can see where I can make some money and, and do the things that I want to do, even if I'm never a household celebrity, even if I'm never an A-lister. Uh, I got my education and I got the opportunity now to spend the rest of my life doing what I love and what my passion is. It's not only talking about music, it's not only reacting to music, but it's also making music. And between the two channels here now, there's an opportunity to share my knowledge, share uh, the wealth of, of understanding I've had over the years, but also share my art as well. And all of that's gonna come to place. Uh, come to place and, and then come to understanding. I, I'm not asking anybody for anything. Uh, it's always been just me and I'm not opposed to working with people, but I've never found people who really wanted to work with me and they, and that was serious about it on that level. So it is what it is. Uh, it's not sour grapes. It's just me being assertive and telling each and everybody out there that if you have a dream, be assertive. Don't wait for somebody to do it for you because they'll steal from you just as soon as they'll help you get anywhere. So this has been Drama Side for Bipolar Entertainment. Uh, until next time, peace out.